Hey people, I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Thank you very much for joining in today and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to yet another FCPX Tips and Tricks. Let's get started after this quick intro. Alright guys, so today's video is sponsored by Vistania. Vistania is a motion designing company where they create a lot of titles, transition effects and a lot more basically templates for Final Cut Pro and After Effects. So if you're interested, go ahead and uh, check out the trial version. The link is in the description box below. And if you are buying it, buy through my link so that it will be beneficial to my channel as well as to you. So let's get started for today's video. In today's video, we're going to see how we can make the flashing effect for your music videos or any video where you have a lot of beats and you want to add some flashing effects to it. So let's get started. Let's jump into the Final Cut Pro right away and see how we can do that. All right, guys. So let's get into Final Cut Pro and see how to make this flashing effect. Now, let's go ahead and uh, create a project. I've already created a project for it. So let me go ahead and uh, open up my project. Yep, this is my project and I'm going to get some of my footages. Let me pull up some of the drone footages which I like. Alright, so this looks good for me. So let me pull it up. And we got our footage into the timeline. Now let's go ahead and play it and see how it looks. Okay, this has some sort of a parallax effect. So let's go ahead and uh, get this one. And let me go ahead and pull up some of my sound effects and uh, song as well. So I have already downloaded one of the songs from Musicbed. So the link is in the description box below if you want to purchase the Musicbed license. And let me go and play it and see how it looks. Alright, so you can hear a lot of beats there. So I want to add the flashing effect to according to that particular beats. So let's go and add flashing effects to those beats. And to do that, let's first mark it up because we need to know where the beats are. So maximize your timeline. You can press command plus so that you can uh, zoom it up and you can uh, accordingly you can make some adjustments. So let's go ahead and add the flashing effect according to the beats and uh, we need to know where the beats are. And to do that, let's go ahead and mark it up. To mark it up, go to the specific beat section here to it and you can also see the wavelength here. You can start marking it up. So press M on your keyboard that will mark it up on your uh, footage. So just go one after that. So we have one more here. Press M. We have one more here. You can relate to it when you see the wavelength once. So I'm just going ahead and making up all the markers wherever it is necessary. Let's see if all the markers are fine. Okay. It looks good for me right now. So let's go ahead and uh, go one after the so what you're going to do is go to the first marker and uh, press B on your keyboard to bring the blade tool and uh, click on it. So once you cut using the blade tool, go to the next frame and cut the clip again so that you will get one frame and you will be able to disable that particular specific footage. So select the clip which you want to disable, click on it and press B on your keyboard to disable it. So once you disable it, you'll be able to get that blank look. All right, now let's go ahead and do the same process across the markers. Let's go ahead and click on each marker and click on the blade tool and cut it. And once you cut it, disable the clip which you want to disable and then let's move ahead and do the same for all of them. So we got it ready now. Let's see how it looks right now. So we got the blacked out flashing effect rather we got to add some white background to it so you can go to titles and generators sidebar and go to generators and go to solid and you have some whites there so you can pull this down to your timeline so you can select whatever you want you have different colors there if you want blue green or even you can go and customize it accordingly so you have your own options so you can also change the color parameters so let's go and see how it looks right now there you go so we got the flashing effect right there and you can make use of this sort of effects on your music videos or any sort of corporate videos where you are trying to reveal some product 
this one was very simple but it will add a lot of vibes to your music videos so you can make use of this sort of effects and uh, make your videos look much better i hope you learned something out of it today and thank you very much for watching and talk to you guys on the next one peace